Daniel Hernandez, nicknamed 6ix9ine, was born on May 8, 1996, in Brooklyn, New York. He grew up with Spanish language. He lived with his older brother and his parents. By the time he was 13, his brother had killed his father. After the murder, he was hospitalized for depression and post-traumatic stress disorder. He began working emotionally due to the death of his father and was eventually expelled from school in the 8th grade. Instead of continuing his education, he worked in various fields, such as working in a restaurant to support his mother. He also turned to drugs to supplement his income, especially selling drugs and heroin on the street while working. He was eventually arrested for his criminal activities and sentenced to prison on Rikers Island, where he began associating with gangsters and entry a prison subdivision of the Blood Street Gang. He is an American rapper, singer, songwriter, and media personality. His career is marked by an aggressive style of rap. Subscribe our YouTube channel to watch the rest of this video and more. While his interesting and controversial character is characterized by rainbow features, tattoos, public demonstrations with other personalities, and legal issues. He began his career as a rapper in 2014, releasing songs such as 69 and Scum Life. His other songs were removed by YouTube. Born and raised in Brooklyn in 2017, Hernandez became widely known after the release of Goma's first single. The song became a national hit, reaching number 12 on the Billboard 200 chart, and went on to sell more after obtaining a platinum license in the United States. He released the 69-day mix the following year, including three additional singles on the Hot 100, while his own mix was released on number 4 on the Billboard 200 album. A few months later, Fefe single co-produced by Nicki Minaj and Murda Beats peaked at number 100 on the music charts and debuted as the main album of The Wizards Boy 2018. Despite receiving negative reviews, album number 2 on Billboard 200 opened. He became famous to prominence on social media in July 2017 due to his popularity on Reddit and Twitter. His first commercial magazine, Guma, was published on November 10, 2017 and was last recorded in the 28th issue of the US Hot 100 Billboard. This platinum license is approved by RIA on March 5, 2018. His next single, Kuda, was released at number 61 on Billboard Hot 100 in the second week of December 2017. On January 14, 2018, Hernandez released his third album, which was also introduced on the Hot 100. Some tips from 6 9 Life Daniel Hernandez was arrested in 2015 on charge of sleeping with a 13-year-old girl and sentenced to three years in prison. In an interview, he said that the touch of a 13-year-old girl has affected his entire career and has taken a heavy toll on his work. At the age of 12, he meets a girl named Sara Molina who they have a daughter with each other after ups and downs. Three years after his release from prison, he was resentenced to prison in 2018 on charge of publishing absence and child abuse photos. He should also prevent any group activities and the publication of inappropriate photos of women and girls after this incident. He was once kidnapped in July 2018. The purpose of this kidnapping was to steal money from him. He was robbed of $750,000 worth of jewelry and $35,000. Each of his famous songs has about a billion views on YouTube. In May 2020, he became the highest paid live Instagram viewer with 2 million live viewers on Instagram. His Instagram page and YouTube channel has been shut down several times by Instagram and YouTube. There are similarities between him and Tata Lu in terms of Instagram controversies and the high amount of tattoos. Also, this famous rapper, due to all the controversy and due to his great wealth, has often helped the poor and shared his wealth with children and poor families. 6 9 will not only release a new music video on July 3, 2020, but will also set a new record on YouTube by releasing its previous video. 
Following the release of his new song Guba on his Instagram account, 6 ix 9 rapper was imprisoned for discussing his testimony against the gang that was previously a member of them and some other issues. The Instagram debate broke the Instagram live record with more than 2 million participants. Referring to the live studio, 6 ix 9 responded by posting a picture of 2 million respondents saying, Why do you think you can compete with me? I spied and I am still the king of you and you are mad at me in the video he exaggerates about his money and jewelry saying that his former gang members tried to kill him and take his mother hostage he also claims to have been beaten by gang members and millions of dollars have been stolen